Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome to another episode of How to Decorate. Today we're going to be looking at the British house that Corrales recently finished. I am not finished with the apartment complex yet, but I wanted to take a small break to try to play around with this design because it seems like a really nice challenge. It's a duplex set, so to the left side you'll have a mirror image of exactly what's on the right side, both on the outside and the inside. It's a really, really cool build. Uh, let's see, we can go upstairs first. Upstairs should be a couple of bedrooms, right one another, right next to one another. Uh, looks like he's done a little bit of decorating already. I really like the lamp and the choice of acacia wood for the lamp tables. Really, really quaint. It kind of says a little bit about the kind of people that would be living here. Looks like this is probably a small walk-in closet or a bathroom. Um, it looks like there's probably a bathroom up here. Yeah, that's probably a walk-in closet. So this would be a bathroom. And that looks like maybe an attic. Let's see here. Yep, that's a little attic equipped with, with torches for lighting. All right, let's see if I can get down here. <laughs> it's so hard to get down with creative mode when, you, when you're on top of a ladder in a cubby like that. Okay, and down here, this would be oh, a nice little fireplace for living room. Gotta love the fact that the fire doesn't burn this in creative. Well, with the game rule set, at least to no fire tick. And this looks like some sort of a l kitchen. <laughs> so a living room kitchen combo. And this would probably be a small area for storage. Uh, out there's a bathroom. Out here is a little back patio deck area. I really, really like this. Okay, so let's just charge right into it. I think I want to do the kitchen first. So this is going to be... Hmm... I can tell already, if I did, let's look at something here. Pistons. If I look, if I take uh, my normal refrigerator and do it with pistons, I think it's going to be way too big for this set. I'm not even going to place them correctly. Yeah, this is just, that's too big for this kitchen. So I'm going to have to deviate to maybe a regular, a little small refrigerator. So I think, let's place that right, well, I don't know where I'm going to place it yet. Let's do a little bit of experimenting first. Let me get this out of the way. I think I'm going to do this in stone bricks, just because the gray seems to complement the brick pretty well in this texture pack. I'm also going to add in some chiseled. So I could put stone bricks. Wait, that was stone brick monster egg. We don't want any of those. We want regular stone bricks. We're going to do stone brick stairs, and we can also do stone brick half slabs. In addition to that, we're going to want some doors for cabinets. And we can use, no, we're not going to use the iron doors. That might be our refrigerator door. Let's just put that to the side for now. This is going to be our doors for the kitchen cabinets. And I think we're going to do a countertop of gray. Let's see what the light gray looks like. Light gray carpet. And we'll just take gray carpet too. And I think that should probably do it for our selections that we need. Let's just try that for now. So, well, I'll actually I'll get a cauldron as well. And that'll be the sink. And I think I'm just going to place the sink in the corner. Poop. Right there. And we'll put a leather lever on top of that after a little while. Now let's see. As far as the cabinets are concerned, I can probably do some lower cabinets right here. Bam, bam. Just like that. And we can probably do... Hmm. Maybe the cabinets we should go with, or let's go next to it, and the sink will just be in the corner. I think corner sinks work really well for this type of kitchen. Um, here, we won't be able to, we'll have to hide this up, so we'll have to do a solid block. Maybe we could do a solid block like this. We can possibly do like a little something like that, just to section the kitchen off, and that way we can come across with some more cabinets here. Let's bring out the brick slabs, the stone brick slabs, excuse me, just like this. And let's see how far out I should go. Probably all the way here. And let's do a little shelving unit. Probably right here. We can do... Oh, you know what would be good? We can do the refrigerator right here. Hmm. Let's just use that as a placeholder right now. Uh, actually, let's use the iron door as a placeholder right now. Okay. That'll be the weather refrigerator. Yeah, that's going to look like a cool refrigerator. Okay, um, what's behind here? Uh, leaves, we could probably get away with that, that's good. Let's bring up a furnace and maybe a dispenser. How about a dispenser? There we go, and we'll replace the door since we've already got it as a placeholder here. And we can do, let's see, we can do two furnaces here to act like the stove and then dispensers 
on top of that to kind of look like, yeah, I think that'll be good. And instead of these, we can go with this. Yeah, that looks like kind of like a built-in unit right there. What's going to look better here, light gray or dark gray? I want to say the light gray would probably make a better countertop. So we'll do that here and here. And we probably need a light in the corner. How about glowstone? Let's do a glowstone light in the corner and a lever to make the faucet deal work. And then we can fill that up with water. And we'll do a faucet here and fill that up with water. Okay, that's our little sink and that's a little lighting area. I think it would look better with maybe a sea lantern here. Let's try a sea lantern and see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks a little bit more industrial. I kind of like that. Let's put some oak doors right here. Oh, there's no half slabs up top. Hmm, we can easily do a rug right here. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, let's do that. We're going to do two cabinets here and we'll do this and two cabinets here and that will that'll work actually let's do only one cabinet here i think uh where is there there we go we'll do one cabinet there that looks a little bit more to my liking i think i think i'm very very happy with this kitchen honestly um can we use oh, what's ice look like no let's how about iron I think iron blocks are going to work well for our stainless steel refrigerator. That works out good. So now we have a refrigerator, a stove, and a sink. That's really, really good. I don't think we'll have place for an island, but we could probably do something like a table here. Uh, not really a table, but oh, let's do a small table or like, a, I guess, just a little area to put stuff on. Maybe we can just do it too wide right here. There we go. That's just like a little work area. Or we can do that as an island, actually. I think if we did... What would this look like? I think that's a little bit too much, actually. That would make for a pretty good island. Although, I think just these by themselves with a little gray on them would probably do the job that we want better than that. Yeah, actually, let's add just another one. Now, there's a little nice kitchen area. We can actually, we could probably do bar stools if the door wouldn't be in the way right there. I think that's pretty good, though. Like, it, it kind of sums it up. Even if we would want to take this out, I think that's perfect for a little island. Cool. Okay. So... Now that the general layout's done, there'll be some decorations that I could come with afterwards, like paintings, maybe some lighting. Let's just figure out general layout first. We can do, let's see, so let's take, uh, well, let's go to the bathroom first. So the bathroom, this is going to be kind of complicated. We'll have to do a half bath here since we can't do a full bath. Um, so pretty much sink and toilet or what I'm thinking. Um, let's see, if we went with, we can go with the gray just like that, like we did last time. Let's grab a couple of cauldrons. I think this should work. Boom, cauldrons. And we'll do maybe, okay, let's let's move this, let's move a few things out of here. Let's grab some, actually, you know what? Let's take those doors back. And instead of these, we'll put doors here. Ah, yeah, there's place. Great. So we can put doors here and we can go with gray for the top, just like this. Sweet. Now we can, I just so happen to have a handy dandy banner that's already set to gradient. Let's get a lever. And I knew I'd be doing mirrors. So, okay, there we go. We need water now. And we'll fill these up with water, like so. Then we'll drop down the banners for the gradients. That is perfect. I love it. Now we need a toilet. We can do our regular toilet. We'll do quartz stairs, quartz slabs, and a weighted pressure plate. Beautiful. Quartz stair, quartz slabs, weighted pressure plate. 
classic toilet design, but it's still one of my favorites. And we can even do a bath mat right here. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, next up. Storage area. What can I do right here? These are all set to... We could probably do something small like... Let's see. We need some sort of light here. Let's go ahead. Let's come down with this. What is above here? It looks as though that was solid. Okay, no problem. We can do... We need to do some sort of lighting here. So how about let's just take fence. We can take the dark oak fence post. Let's take the birch fence post. And we'll use the birch fence post right here and grab the sea lantern again. And that'll be like just a little hanging deal. No, that's gonna be too low in the middle right there. And I'm afraid that that just sticks out like a sore thumb. Maybe if we did a little table lamp right here, it would look a little bit better. So let's go with something a little bit more practical. Um, this is probably a good fixture. Let's go with a sea lantern now. Sea lantern in the corner. Bam. Now I could easily do one of the cool lamps that we always do, but I think I'll go with this design just because it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. Okay, so how about a little table set up here? Maybe just something that's like a three-quarter length. That's a good little table. We can possibly do maybe a bookshelf or so. Bookshelf. And let's grab an item frame with the book and quill. And a potted plant. Or a flower pot. How about... Where are the flower pots? Hmm. Flower, there we go. Flower pot there. We'll change that out for the door and get one of these blue orchids. Okay, so flower pot can go here, blue orchid inside. We can put the books right here. So that'll be like some storage area for the book. How about just right there instead? And the item frame with the book and quill right there. I think that just would about do it for this area. It's really, really tight, so I don't want to make it too busy. Okay, so in here, we do have a spot we could do for a nice painting with some light. So let's go with, we already have this out. Let's do that. And this will almost be like a ventilator on this side, right? And on this side, we can easily make that into a painting to give a little bit more life to it. So that's perfect. And let's do the living room now. So I'm going to go with dark oak, I think, here. Or could we go with quartz? I think quartz might be a better choice. Let's go with quartz. Do we have spots underneath here? We sure do. How about I take one of those banners that I made earlier for the mirrors and do a little bit of cushions on the couches. All right, it, uh, it actually just does white, but that's okay. So we can do banner, banner, banner. And if we did just like this, it turns it black because we have the lighting glitch, but that's okay. That's kind of what we want it to look a little bit different. So we'll take these. We could color them and put lighting underneath, but I think that's fine for this setup. Uh, let's put another chair here, and it'll be one away from the window. We'll do a small plant feature. Let's go with a piston plant. The pistons actually look really, really good for plant bases in this resource pack. Let's go right here instead, and we can go not spruce. Let's go with, how's birch leaves look? Pretty good. I like that. Uh, we can do a small rug, which, what color will we use for a rug? I'm thinking that gray has already been used too much. What about green? The green carpet seems to be pretty good. Let's do a small green rug just right here. A row of three. Just something to be different, you know? Um, we could do a small table lamp right here. Um, I think if we put maybe... How about we got... What is this? This is spruce? Yeah, let's do spruce. 
like this instead. And that way we would leave need room leave room for a lamp. And let's do one of those other lamps that I like to do so much. We'll go ahead and do an armor stand. And we'll set up. We already got the piston. A setup with a block of redstone. We can do sea lantern. Uh, which we already had actually. Let's put the glowstone in just in case it's not the right um, setup that we have. We can also do a beacon, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea either. And instead of what kind of base are we going to use? Let's use. How about we can probably use leather pants as a base or leather shoes as a base? Let's try this out. This might look pretty good. All right, so we'll take one right there and leather pants is going to be uh, I don't think I'm gonna like that actually it's probably gonna look a little bit too fabricy so let's do something else instead we'll do we'll do iron because iron will be like a gray setup and that'll be pretty good so iron pants and iron boots just like that and on top we'll place uh, I'm gonna have to redo that M uh, or tie. <laughs> um, that's okay. Boom. Let's go ahead and put the sea lantern on top. Actually, let's put this puppy on top. And right above that, we'll put the piston. And right above that, we can put the redstone. And it can't push the beacon, unfortunately. <laughs> I didn't think so. Oh, well, we wouldn't be able to do that, unfortunately. But we could do the sea lantern, and that will work for us. All right. So the sea lantern's in place. Oh. The sea lantern is in place now. Um, so we can do the iron now. So let's do the iron here and the iron there. And there's a little corner lamp. We'll put the wood back. All right. Very good. So that's a little corner lamp, and now we need a painting again. And it's just about filling space when I'm doing decorations like this, you guys. Just trying to fill space up. We already have that painting already. Let's do... Uh, let's do something a little bit more... A little bit different. There we go. That's a good painting here. So that adds a little bit to room to the go. We already have some green, so it kind of matches with everything. And we can also do a little green... Well, maybe not that. Let's do a little green table right here on the side. Uh, how about some glass? And we'll do... I think the gray panes work pretty well. Or is it the black panes that I like so much? I don't know. And we'll do carpet for either green or light green. I already have green. Let's try light green and see how that looks. So a little table right here and green on top. I think that works out well for just a little side table or a corner table if you will. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so... This area, we probably just need a welcome mat. We kind of have a couple of colors going on here. Light gray would probably be the best color, honestly, because we don't want too much color. We just want to be able to accent stuff. So we'll go with that. Actually, let's do gray, because that looks too much like the, the, the walls. So we'll do the gray carpet just like that. That's perfect. Um, are we good with this? I think we're good with this. I think that about covers half of it, you guys. Next time we come back, we'll check out the upstairs up here and um, finish up. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Bye.